welcome back to my channel, Diamond Painting with Anxiety. I'm Karen. I have a finish today that I'm pretty excited about. This is from my fall holiday stash. And it is the Hocus Pocus I Need Coffee to Focus. So I'm really excited to have this one done. This, this whole um, experience with this new company that I found on Amazon called CC Customs Print, Custom Prints has um, kind of turned into quite the adventure for me. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But if you didn't see my unboxing of this project, it came with some, some pretty significant problems in the first time I got it. I will link that down below. When I first received this canvas, it came to me and first of all, the drills had spilled pretty badly during shipping in the box. So it was a gigantic mess. Um, the chart that I received with it was this one right here. Oh, there's a nice long piece of hair on that. Let me grab it real quick if I can. One of my long red hairs. Um, this was a chart I received. was too small, um, pretty illegible, no color. Um, so I sent some feedback on Amazon to the seller, both on this canvas and the first one that I did, which was, it's all a bunch of hocus pocus piece. And I gave her my feedback that the drills were, were popping, it had spilled and, you know, just that kind of thing. Um, I didn't ask for a refund or replacement or anything like that. Um, and within a couple of days, she had responded to me um, through the Amazon, you know, email thing to the email I had sent her. And she had apologized and said she really wanted to, you know, produce a quality project, that it wasn't the drills, that it was actually that the canvases she sent out the were the grid the grids were too small. And that's what was causing all my popping drills. And she said she was going to send me out two replacement canvases. Now again, I didn't ask her to do that. She just volunteered. Um so when I realized that I, this replacement canvas came before I even realized that she had responded to me, um, I opened it up, did the, you know, the unboxing for this and sent her a couple of my different videos and she responded to all of those videos. So, um, I'm gonna, I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's talk about this project first. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, this is, was definitely an improvement. I love the image. It's really, really cute. Um, it is, you know, I mean, it's definitely bigger. It did come, you know, with all the colors, so it made it easier to do. Unfortunately, there were a few problems with this canvas as well. First of all, it's, it's bigger. Um, it's probably closer to truer to size. Let's go ahead and measure can't remember if I measured this in my unboxing, but um, let's see. We've got, it's supposed to be 8 by 10, and we've got a little more than 8. We've got about 8 and 3 quarters by, I thought it was supposed to be 8 by 10. Maybe it was 9 by 11. I don't remember now. I'll list the, I'll post the the Amazon listing down below. Yeah, it might have been 9 by 11 because this one's like 8 and 3 quarters by 11. So, um, and maybe it was supposed to be 8 by 11 because while this one's bigger, and that was a good thing, I had no popping drills. Unfortunately, the, the grid... Um, for this particular piece was a little bit too big. And so what that meant was I had a lot of gapping. Now I would rather have some gapping and, you know, have my drills stay on without popping, but it did cause, you know, an issue where I could not use a multi-placer, which I would have loved to use a multi-placer for all this background because, you know, this is the second 
piece that's kind of the style that I've done that has all of this um, 3865 in the background and it would have been nice to be able to multi-place that but because there was so much gapping and the grid was too big I had to place each diamond uh, one by one with my single placer and really really focused to make sure I was covering the symbol um, so that because there was so much gapping around it I started over here in this corner and I was using my multi placer and so it doesn't look quite as good over here um, I mean it, it's okay another problem with it being a little bit too big like that I think in the the writing um, you know, all of the details that's on hit here had the drills fit um, snugly like squares are supposed to. I think I might have gotten a little bit of more clarity. As you can see in the, the viewfinder, it's not that bad, but I think it could have been a little better. I'm going to see if I can zoom you in enough so that you can see some of this gapping that I'm talking about. In some places, I mean, again, I did the best I could, but in some places, it's pretty significant. When you're back from this a ways, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's not something you're going to notice, but it did kind of bother my OCD just a little bit. Let's see if I can get you close enough that you can see some of that gapping. Maybe it, over here. Let's see, maybe if I hold it up. Okay, let's take a look at this this area where I tried to do the multi-placing. Now, if it's going to focus for me, see how crooked my rows are? Because I really had to focus, and over here I was multi-placing. That was a mistake to start out with a multi-placer. So, that's not focusing very well. I don't know. If I can actually, let's see, do I need to zoom in a little more? Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that gapping or not. See, here again, I mean, my drill placement is not always the best, but... You know, I mean, it was just a bit difficult. Um, so anyway, I guess you guys will just, I don't know if you guys could tell, but you may just have to trust me that I had some, you know, fairly significant gapping. Oops, I bumped you. Some fairly significant gapping on this one. But all in all, it's cute. It's done. I, um, I had fun working on it even though it was a little more challenging because I had to place each and every drill side by side. Some other comments I would have about this is the glue came out pretty far on the sides. I did cover it with washi tape down at the bottom just so that I wouldn't stick my finger into it. And the washi tape that I just happened to grab was coffee bean washi tape. So I went ahead and put the coffee bean washi tape all the way around this. I think I'm going to do a canvas mount or something really simple with this. Um, so I think I might just leave the coffee bean. I mean, that makes sense. I did switch out the drills here because in the um, original design, all of these drills are 3865. And I wanted it to be brown like coffee because to me, coffee is life. I mean, come on. So I think it would be nice if the glue was a little bit, you know, um, closer to the edge of the canvas. Down here on this side, the glue came all the way out the width of the washi tape. Um, and it wasn't real consistent because if I flip it over, the glue only came up to, to there. Um, and here... It came out to there so um, it, it just really wasn't consistent as far as like how far the glue came out so I don't know what the trimming process looks like but I think it could be trimmed a little bit better um, the other issue that I had with this is this is how this came so it came like that um, 
So there was a lot of, you know, extra canvas down here at the bottom. And the, the schematic is very, very, very small. Um, I actually cut the schematic off this one, which was bigger, and used it sort of as a walking legend. So I just made it work. So um, I think it would have been very difficult to use this one. Also, on this schematic, the um, symbols and colors are not numbered. I know most people work uh, by labeling their containers with the symbols. I, however, do not. I use numbers. Um, that way I never have to switch out labels. My containers are always just ready to go. I can just go from one project to the next really quickly. And it just works better for my brain. So I would have liked to have seen numbers down here. And I would have liked to have seen this significantly, like much, much larger. Would have been helpful. And again, I don't know what the process is like, but you know, it just seems like this is a lot of wasted canvas type material down here. The other issue that I had was she, these come pre-kitted up into baggies for people that just, you know, work out of baggies. Again, I don't. I put mine in containers. But they have these little um, paper labels placed on the baggies for you. So, I mean, if you do work from baggies, you would just be set to go. Unfortunately, in this kit, let's see if you can see that, both of these bags were had the same label on them. Now, I was able to use my DMC charts to figure it out, and this one was 14, which would have been... This bag was, the drills that were in it were actually 3024. And again, by using my DMC chart, I was able to figure out that the bags that were in this um, bag were actually 819. But if you look really close, you can see that the symbol that she's got in the middle there is was the same for both colors. So I did have to sort that out. So that was kind of unfortunate. So, um, let's see, what else can I think of? The symbol, the symbols were nice and clear. The, the canvas was nice and sticky. Now, like I said, this has been quite the project and, and quite the adventure for me. When I sent her that email, she responded back to my email. Um, and I put the links to those videos in there. Um, when I, the second email where I, you know, thanked her for sending out the replacement projects, which again, I didn't ask her to do. And in that, and also on the original unboxing and review videos and stuff I did, um, I had sent her that link in the email where I, um, you know, thanked her for sending me replacement canvases. I sent her, gave her the links to my videos, and she actually went in and watched them on my comments, um, on some of, you know, my subscribers' comments, she actually responded to many of those. So I do have some more information about this company now, which is really kind of, I don't know, I find it kind of fun. So she is based out of California, so she's here in, in the U.S., um, which, she's in the, which actually she's in the same state as I am. Um, this is a home-based business. She is actually creating these kits from home. And she decided to do that because she was tired of waiting for the kits to come from, from uh, China. She was, you know, tired of the wait time for shipping, not getting the best quality, things like that. Um, so she decided to create her own company. She decided to label the bags like this so that it would just be ready for people to go. I think that's absolutely wonderful, provided they're labeled correctly. Um, you know, that's a wonderful thing. Um, I can tell you that the drills were very, 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 very high quality. In my first video, I thought maybe the, the reason everything was popping was because the drills... Um, the drill sizes were different. I don't think that's what it was. I think it was because the grid was too small, just like she told me. I mean, she 
she was so forthcoming with admitting to what the issues were and telling me that she's she's committed to you know producing a high quality product and and um, so I was just really impressed. These drills are among some of the sparkliest that I've ever worked with. So super high quality. I had very little trash. I think I found one um, 3865 that um, had a hole in it. And then there was a little bit of the, you know, trash, like just the extra little bits in the 385. But I mean, so little. Um, I can't, I can't even tell you, like maybe there were a couple of, of little round pieces or something that I had to dispose of. I don't remember finding any trash in the three tens, or actually this is not three ten. It's um, nine thirty nine. I didn't. I don't remember finding any trash in the nine thirty nine, which is pretty unusual, as a lot of you would know. It's. I find that it's usually the the dark colors and the light colors that have a lot of trash in them. Um. Let's see. So what else can I tell you? She told me that this, um, if I can get a hold of it, this plastic backing on the back of this, which is sticky, and she has stuck to the canvas. The canvas itself is not sticky, but um, that's just to um, you know protect it, make it a little thicker, because her canvas is pretty thin. This one's a little thicker maybe than the other ones, but um, yeah, this is just kind of to to protect it and um, make the uh, the canvas a little more sturdy, which, which is a nice touch. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? What else did she tell me? That's pretty much all I can think of. So, like I said, there were some problems with this kit. The drills were mislabeled. The grid's a little bit too big this time, but again, I'd much rather have it too big than too small and popping. I feel like the image turned out fairly well. I am definitely going to frame it and use it for holiday decor. It was fun to work on. Um, I am, as far as this company goes, I am amazed by her um, swift response, her customer service, um, you know, those kinds of things. So I went ahead and I purchased another piece to go along with these other two, two um, Hocus Pocus. So I'll probably end up having three Hocus Pocus pieces in my set. Because here's my thinking, you guys. Even though I had a few problems with this canvas, Here's my thinking. Okay, this is a woman who's starting a home-based business, is trying to provide great customer um, service, took the feedback that I gave her, um, made it right immediately. Um, so that's the kind of thing I want to support. You know, in the diamond painting community, we focus a lot on getting good quality for our money canvases. And while that's absolutely true, we should be able to purchase DP kits with no issues. Um, also, I don't think there's anything wrong with supporting a home-based business where someone's producing a handmade product, giving them some time to work some of the issues out and supporting them while they're trying to do that, especially if they're trying as hard as this person is to make it right and to get better. And I want to watch her go on that journey. So I'm going to order for, from her and I may continue to order from her. And as long as she's taking feedback from me and other people in the diamond painting community and trying to improve and grow, I mean, I think that's awesome. And, you know, I always will support places like, you know, the big companies like Diamond Art Club, you know, occasionally Dreamer Designs, some of the AliExpress companies. Um, but it makes me feel really good, too, to support a home-based business. Um, so I just, I just feel really good about doing that. So I'm going to continue to do that. You will probably see, I know you'll see at least one more, 
but um, when I was on her Amazon link, she's got some cute holiday pieces that I may need to, um, you know, check out. So, um, again, her, her um, price point is a little bit higher and really, truly for um, this one, I think if I remember correctly, I'll link it down below, but I think it was $18. And for $18, really, you know, most of us in the diamond painting community would expect something very high quality at this size. However, like I said, I have, I don't have a problem in supporting somebody while they, um, you know, are striving to improve their um, company. So um, you will probably be seeing more projects from this company. I mean, I support the big companies that I love. Why shouldn't I support, um, you know, someone who's, um, you know, producing something from home? Um, you know, I, I support people's Etsy shops and all those kinds of things. So I feel good about supporting CC Custom Prints as well. Um, so again, I'm happy with this. It's cute. It, you know, I think the, the quality um, and the consistency could improve a little bit. But, you know, I'm really hopeful that as I watch her go on this journey, that, um, you know, that's what I'm going to see happen. So, and I just love this image. I mean, you guys, this is so me. If you guys only knew how addicted I am to coffee, it's just not even good not even good. But yeah, that's my finish. I'm super happy with it. Um, hopefully I will get this framed and, you know, finished and up here at the shelter sometime really soon. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So with this finish, this is my third, um, fall holiday slash the stash project that I've completed since the beginning of September and that means I still have four you know I counted the other day okay I counted the other day and I had seven so the two that were already finished I didn't include in the number so this is um would be number one in that slash the stash so I have six more, including two that are still scheduled to arrive, but this is number one. So on to the next one. So that's my review for CC Custom Prints. My Hocus Pocus is so pretty. It's so cute. My residents are going to love this. So thanks for watching, you guys. Before I let you go, I do want to remind you that we can change lives one drill at a time even if it's just our own, because when we change our lives, the entire world around us has to change. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.